Well, hello there, says Nathan. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. So today we are at uh, American Home Centers in Belgrade, Montana. We're gonna take a look at this uh, home right here. This is a kit home. Uh, forget the uh, model number on it. I believe this is a 2506, but not a hundred percent sure on it. So I'll go ahead and put a little flash across the bottom of the screen with the model number here once I get a copy of the floor plan. So real briefly on the back side here. That's gonna be in your master bathroom. That's gonna be above your kitchen area there. You get this really nice sliding glass door coming off your dining room. So I'm trying to be kind of brief on the back side here. And you do got this back door right here that goes into your laundry room. Sure, you're gonna like what you see once we get inside. By the way, these do have the uh, neum insulation package. That neum insulation package, first time I came across that was uh, when I was over in Nampa, Idaho. So it's a new deal that uh, Kit Homes does. Something that they've upgraded to. Once again, you got this really nice living room area. Vaulted ceiling, pretty standard on all the kit homes now. Guess we should check out this uh, coat closet over here. Of course, they do have trim supplies stashed away and everything. So you got plenty of room for a good sized table here in your dining room. kitchen area here. You get this really nice curved bar. Lots of room in the bar area here. Plenty of storage down below. Lots of electrical outlets. Guess they expect you to plug a lot of stuff in there. So you get soft closed drawers and doors. You got stainless steel frigid air appliances. There's that big window we were looking at on the back side.
gas stove here. We all know it's going to be back in here. Should be the typical Kit Holmes smuggler's pantry. Oh, and they didn't put a light in here. It's a little dark in here, but uh, you can see really big pantry here. Let's go take a look down in your bedrooms here. I'm not sure if I mentioned it, this is a four bedroom, two bath home. So we'll start with bedroom number one. Now this being the front bedroom, it's probably going to be the smaller of the two, or the three back here, I should say. But for its size, you get a really nice closet. I'll come over here, bedroom number number two. And this being a four bedroom, it's kind of nice to see because overall this is not one of your larger homes. I mean, it's still a large home, but it's only, if I remember right when I looked at the floor plan real briefly, not to say small, but it is on the smaller side for a four bedroom at only 2,000 square feet. Usually you want to get a four bedroom in a manufactured home or modular like this one, you usually end up having to get 23 or better, it seems like. So we got bedroom number three over here. As I kind of came across and up the hallway a little bit. We're gonna do all the bedrooms first. So we do got a really nice bathroom for the uh, guest bathroom. We got our coat closet here, or linen closet I guess. For your guest bathroom, as you can see you get lots of cabinet space in here. Hello Raiden. It's a lot of counter space. Something you usually don't get that much of in your guest bathroom. You got a one piece shower tub combo with a really deep tub. Let's see if I can kind of get a better shot, show you kind of how deep that tub really is. Not only did you have those cabinets in here, but you also got more shelving back in there. So plenty of storage in your guest bathroom. There's going to be access to your water heater. There's that back door we looked at. Coming in, you got perfect spot to hang all your coats and stuff. As soon as I can get better lighting, there we go. Shoe rack and all that built in. Spot for your stand up freezer. And back over here is going to be where your washer and dryer is going to go. Now, there's no sink in here, but uh, it's 
It's nice to see you got a folding table and plenty of cabinetry in here. I really like that they use the same backsplash over everything. That glass inlaid backsplash. Alright, let's go down here to the master bedroom. So good sized bedroom here. Nice ceiling fan. Lots of light coming in. Now this home is still being staged, so that's why you don't see a whole lot of furniture and things kind of just laying around. Good sized closet. Double shelves at each end with a, plenty of room for the ladies or whoever to hang their long stuff. Now for the main event, as we call it. Nice double sink. Great big mirror in here. Really like the light fixtures they used in here. Lots of storage, a couple of deep drawers in there. And for the ladies, you get this really big soaker tub. Of course, I guess guys use them too occasionally. Really nice backsplash on your tub area here. And then here we also have more shelving back behind your door. You've got the usual kit homes, window in the shower there. But really nice tile shower. Once again, they continue with that same glass backsplash, or glass inlay, I should say. A really nice shower. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications. That way you get notified every time I upload videos. Currently uploading three times a week. Every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to share this video with your family and friends. Somebody's going to want to see this. You know they are. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye.